guys or people who is into that do it because there is a need to do it you know they do it for the love not really because of the the money is behind it probably because we don't have no money in the economy <laughs> or in the industry or if there is a gospel industry I always ask that question um, as to what is secular music um, and what do you term as secular music. So, um, with that not being defined, um, I would say I, I choose to do the music that I do um, because it expresses the reason why I'm leaving, my purpose, um, and there is not a need to change it. See, because if I change it, it means I change my reason why I'm leaving and it changed my purpose, it changed my direction. Um, so I choose to do the music I'm doing, which is gospel, um, because of the reason and my purpose why I'm here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, to, to, to me, if you if you if you're doing a music and it, it doesn't have a purpose, it doesn't define anything, um, there is not a root as to why you're doing it, then I don't know. Um, if I was to term it into one word, it may sound a little bit selfish um, to others and to some, but to me it's pure. Yeah, I, 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 I see it much purer um, in Grenada and maybe just outside of the region as, to com as compared to the outside world. You know, um, one of the things that I see in terms of purity, um, guys or people who is into that do it because there is a need to do it, you know? They do it for the love, not really because of the, the money behind it. Probably because we don't have no money in the economy. <laughs> or in the industry, or if there is a gospel industry. Um, but on a positive note, I, 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 on, a, and on a serious note, I would say I see it much purer here than opposed to outside. That's a very, it's a very interesting question. It's also a question, it's also like a trick question, um, if I should say that. But um, from the time I started music, I, I, I was not noticing anything. Um, and I say that to say because when I started music, music was never about to be on a stage. So I never see myself being on a stage or being in front of the lights and being in front of people to perform or to minister. I've never seen myself like that. Music basically to me was, as I always say, my shrink. And it still is my shrink. You see, because um, as the smiles on the face you may see, we all have, you know, troubles, we all have difficult time difficult moments and um, for me music really does that for me so it's a place where I go and I talk to and I always say the guitar is my best friend because I can hit it as hard as I want and it never strikes back and even if the string bus you can still play on the other five the other five still give support eh? see the difference here yeah? um, but I, I, I think getting into the music, into the music, and, and um, it took me where it wanted to take me. So it brought me on different stages, and then among different gospel uh, musicians and bands and so on in Grenada. Um, what I can say is, in quotation mark, is that I see new people or it may be the same people, but with great vision. That's what I've seen. 
you see um, as to the growth of the industry I don't know um, it's difficult for me to answer the question because I don't know if Grenada even have a, uh, a gospel industry um, or a gospel, a gospel platform for all the gospel artists and um, I, I think that's why I, I applaud you guys with what you all are trying to do which is which is really good um, but I see a lot of the the gospel musicians from back then so now I see they're having good visions and they're showing you know, a lot of interest um, in developing the gospel industry in Grenada and that's a good thing. Yeah. You asked me that question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, 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 to be honest, um, I see it, I see it reaching the peak that it needs to be all right I, that's that's what i vision i see it going there um but it getting there have a lot to do with the persons that are involved you know in terms of um the, the whole team the whole zimar team um as i i see it's something that takes a lot of prayers something that takes a lot of respect you know a lot of discipline um, not too much on the touchy side, you know what I mean? Um, and I sit, I sit reaching really far. And um, if I didn't have that vision, I would, not have, I would have never been an insider. You see? <laughs> I would have never agreed to walk along with Julius um, when, the, when the, the, the whole talk came about the Zamar and having something, you know, not just once, but one on once um, for the year. So I see it reaching very far, you know, um, but it also takes a collaborative effort between the Zimar team, among the Zimar team. You know, prayer must be the first thing on the Zimar team as the men, you know, take time out, pray. And also, you know, that would help you develop respect for each other, you know, the way you talk, the way you deal with each other. And um, I see it reaching the peak that it needs to be, because Grenada, to be honest, I mean, if I can just add in that piece, so Grenada, to be honest, so. needs that. You see, it doesn't. It doesn't need a, a concert once per year or two concerts year uh, for the year. Or it doesn't even need international artists to come over to Grenada, because Grenada have it. We have everything that we need here. You know, it's just for us to utilize the tools that we have, the people that we have, and with respect and everybody being humble to the music. And that's another thing I, I really want to chip in. Um, is that we really need to be humble to the music so because music lend itself to us you see and it can take back itself at any given time you know yeah it lends itself to us and the more humble we be to music is the more we would excel in music you see but anytime you you reach a stage and you feel wow i'm the best guitarist i'm the best player then it means that you are start losing you're not on the winning side again <laughs> You start losing, you know. So I see Zima reaching very far as long as these, all of these components are tightly fitted in. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if Loxana has a musical career. <laughs> because, um, but in terms of, in terms of music, um, of course I'll be doing lots more music. See, there's a lot more music um, I've planned to do. Um, right now, I'm mean, I mean, purchasing a lot of equipment um, so that I can be able to do the type of music that I want to. You know, I can have that, that, that space because I need a bigger space so I can sit to produce that kind of music. And, and also, I'm trying to take care of my health as best as I can because health is very important with music, you know. I don't know if you know that, you know, it's very, very important, especially with vocals. It, uh, as a vocalist, you know, your dad have to be different. Your dad can be like the regular musicians, you know. Regular musicians can eat anything. You can eat chicken, you can eat turkey, you can chew up the chicken bone if he wants to, you know. But as a vocalist, you need to eat less of these things, eat a lot of fruits, plenty of water. You have to jog, you know, go swimming, do something. Because what happens is that you have to exercise, you have to be fit. So you can be able to take the notes that you need to and take them from the right spots where you need to. 
So all these are in and um, in terms of the music, you know, we, we are working on a couple shows that we want to do like uh, the Worship Sundays is still in the, in the plan and it's just that um, the media house, they need to have some more equipment that we can use because I like if I'm doing something, it have to be professional as best as I can, you know. So, yeah, so in terms of the music, um, there is a lot in store. There's a lot, in, a lot, a lot, a lot that we plan on doing myself and my team. So you can look it for more. I mean, I think my producer, he produced uh, Afro beat and asked me to do an Afro song. I don't know how that would play out yet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But my 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 main music is more contemporary rock, um, deep worship. That's 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 my thing. You know. Yeah. And all digital platforms, all of the digital platforms, Spotify, iTunes, blah blah. You can just name it. YouTube, Facebook. You know, um, you can find the music there, YouTube, of course. Um, yeah, I guess that's where you can find it. Somewhere. I want to encourage persons to support things that are good, you know. Um, I want to encourage persons to support the Zimar, the Zimar production. Um, why some person why you want me to support Zima? Um, because it's not just about the persons that are involved so I want to encourage you people it's not just about the person that are involved it's about building the kingdom it's about getting youths involved in things that are positive and also for persons that are lacking that spiritual food you know what i mean um that spiritual worship that they need zima are bringing that right to your homes you know but these type of things are very expensive you know to 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 put on one of these shows is very expensive and i'm sure you have looked and you have seen some of the the footage from previous shows and um you can see the quality there um and for me it's really good and you know in order for them to step it up and be more cleaner and even more neater it means that it takes finance so um whatever you can well, whatever way you can help i think that would be very much appreciated and and i would encourage you to support it you know share the page like the page share it to your friends let them know about the page you know um publicize it that's what i would say to persons you know and um to the youths i really want to say to you uh this initiative is great you know, and try to get yourself involved in things like that because what it does is that it helps you um, it, it, it builds you spiritually and um, it builds our society and with a better society it means that we have a better country with a better country a better world huh? and so so I want to encourage you to support the Zima yeah um, and we, we have the event coming up on the second I think yeah, on second, right? So we want to say to you, just go there, go to the page, um, like the page, share it, let people know about the event, um, let them know what time it be on. Six in the evening, right? Six p.m. in the evening. Um, let them know. It's it's and and, and definitely uh, it's going to be. A, a, it's a different event. It's an acoustic session, and we want to make it really nice. And um, I want to say to the guys once again, thanks for having me. Um, thanks for having me here. I'm happy to be here. Um, and um, yeah, look out for the show on the second. It'll be good. Share it, like it, tell everybody, tell all your friends. Um, and so, finally, I want to say to you just go on to, is it HD Song Page, Josh? HD sound, yes. You know, I I saying Josh because you can't see him, but he is the technical guy to the back. Don't worry, he's working very hard. 
and um, just go over to the page, like the page, share the page. You can go over to the Locks and Mitchell page so you can find some of the information there about the event. And don't forget, if you want to donate, and I encourage you to donate something towards the event, that's going to be a blessing. Thank you again. Bye-bye.